Hey guys, it's V. Today I'm going to be doing a V Vibes and Vince for you guys. And I thought that I would start off with my hair because I had to take a shower in the morning today, which is pretty rare for me. So uh, I thought I would show you guys how I wear my hair naturally because sometimes the damage is too real and my hair cannot deal. Oh my God. Wow, I did not even plan that, that was really good. So I thought I would show you guys how I leave my hair naturally. I think it's been in a couple of videos before, but there's one product that I use that I didn't use in other previous things that I really, really love. And so, yeah. So the first thing, you guys know I've talked about this a thousand times, but it's the it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. Anytime I take a shower, I immediately put this in my hair afterwards. And for me, I can't overdo it. But if you have thinner hair, Go a little light with it, but I, I just go to town because it makes my hair feel so, so, so good. Yeah, so I just spray that into my ends and then I take, if you guys watch my Biore strip video, I still have this. This has lasted me over a year because I got it at Beautycon last year and I just went to Beautycon yesterday. So I take a lot of this, like a good amount, that much. Again, if you have thinner hair, this won't work for you because it'll make you look like a grease ball. But my hair just like, just sucks that shiz right on up. And then the last thing I put in there is this Regis Design Line Curl Lock Curl Cream Firm Hold. My best friend Selena used to work at a Regis and she turned me onto this stuff and it's really, really good. So I take about that much, I put it in my hands and then I just kind of scrunch it in my hair and this stuff is so so good at not making your hair feel crunchy like most curling mousses do since it's a cream it's like i don't it's so good so i just like scrunch it all up in my hairs that's pretty much it yeah so i basically do it from like here down just because that's where my curls start to form so i try to make sure to get it all saturated in that area sometimes i take a little bit more and add some more. I try to get it really, really saturated though because this stuff is really, really good at bringing out the curl in your hair because my hair has so much color damage, heat damage, all of the damages that are possible. And I still don't think that my curls are the most beautiful. Bless you. Bless you. I still don't think that my curls are the best curls in the world. I honestly like am not the biggest fan of my natural hair, but sometimes you gotta rock it. So I'm just gonna come back to the rest of my hair once we're done, once it's kind of dried a little bit more. My bangs are slightly drier than the rest of my hair because I had to keep wetting it because there were a couple things I had to do right after I got out of the shower and my hair was kind of drying. So I usually do it on towel dried hair. So I'm just gonna clip my bangs out of the way for right now and we will come back to them at the end of the tutorial. Stay tuned. If you guys hear Blake sneezing in the background, I guess his allergies are real bad today, but he keeps sneezing, so I'm sorry if that's annoying. I was the same way like two days ago at work. I literally told my coworkers, don't even bless me. Like, don't, because I'm gonna keep sneezing and you're gonna annoy yourself with how much you're blessing me. Like the demons have left and now they're just like outside of my body tormenting me. So today I'm gonna be using the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer, the Hydrating and Pore Minimizing. I have a whole video on this comparing it to the Makeup Forever skin equalizer in hydrating. I'll link that up there for you guys. But yeah, I've been really, really liking it. I This one is almost gone actually, but I know that I said that I wasn't gonna do foundation in my V Vibes and Vents videos, but I have a new foundation to try that I got at Beautycon and I wanted to film myself trying it for you guys. So that's my excuse for that. But yeah, I went to Beautycon yesterday and it was amazing. I'm gonna have a whole video up on it. That'll be up before this, I'm pretty sure, because I wanna get that one up a little bit quicker. I think I'm gonna put them both up in the same day so that you guys can watch both of them, because why wait, right? And I've kind of got like an overabundance of videos like that I need to put out for you guys. And I mean, that's a great problem to have, don't get me wrong, but I'm like, when am I supposed to be putting these up? Because I try to put up like three times a week, but I'm overwhelming myself with how many videos I have for you guys. So before I put on my foundation, I have a little sample here of the Benefit Erase Paste. 
in the light shade and I've been using it on my under eye area lately and I think that it's working. I don't know, honestly, Ooh, that's a lot. I used a little bit too much there. So far I've been liking it. I might get the full size. I do think that it helps like the darkness under my eyes. So the foundation that I got is actually from Tarte. It is the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation Broad Spectrum 15 SPF, you know, all of that jazz. Everyone talks about how good this stuff is and I've never tried it because it was expensive, but at BeautyCon it was only $25, so. I got it because I really wanted to try it. I got the shade Ivory. So it says it's 12 hour makeup oil free. So I'm excited to try it out for you guys. Did a fancy thing. Look at how fancy this lid is. It's like fake bamboo. Oh yeah, safety seal. Points to Tarte for the safety seal. Yeah, I've heard this is like really full coverage. So I'm just gonna take that much. That might even be too much. Wow, this looks like pretty yellow even though it said it was for pink undertones. It's looking pretty yellow. They actually matched me at Tarte when I went there, so this better be my shade. I'd say the shade matches really well. It felt really, really nice going on. It was very like moussey almost. It's definitely not like liquidy, like how the Revlon color stay is, which is like what I wear every day, but I like it so far. It's not like, the fullest coverage that I've ever seen. Like, I mean, maybe it looks better on camera than in person, but I feel like you can still kind of see like acne scarring and stuff through it, but I don't know. So I'm just gonna quickly put some eye primer on my eyes and then apply my concealer. I'm running out of this eye primer. It's making me sad, but I do have some of the old formula of the Urban Decay eye primer that I can use once I'm done with this, so. It's not goodbye forever. It's just so long for now. Gonna do my under eye concealer real quick. Maybe it's not as full coverage because I'm using a beauty blender type sponge or using a sponge rather than using a foundation brush. Maybe that would make it more full coverage. I mean, I like it. I like using the sponge, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change my ways. The next thing that I'm gonna try that I got from BeautyCon is actually a little baby sample of the RCMA No Color Powder that everyone's been crapping their pants about lately because they were selling little samples at BeautyCon. So I thought that I would try it out and if I like it, then I'll order it online and wait for it to come back in stock because the whole world has gone crazy about it lately. So let's, uh, let's put this on there and see how it goes. Wow, I like it. I hate these little hairs that always like curl up right on into my neck. I'm just like, can you just hang out with every other hair that I have and not try to do your own thing? Let's, let's be uniform. There's a time to be unique and when your hair on my head, it is not that time. So far, I like it. Like it's really, really soft and like it feels really nice. So probably gonna buy it. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a teensy bit and we can start on my eyes. So today I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette that my best friend Sam got me for Christmas because I feel like doing something matte and neutral and smoky in a way. This is actually kind of like my go-to, like what I do when I don't have time to do a really elaborate eye look because it still looks like you put time into it, but it's pretty simple. So first off, I take... I'm having some difficulty figuring out which name is for which. I'm thinking this one is Succubus, but if that's the opposite of what it is, then just take that cream shade and put it all over the eye just to set the primer down in place and give us a nice little, nice little blending workshop. Then I'm gonna take the shade Lazarus here with a blender brush. These are powdery, but they are really, really pigmented. And I'm just gonna put that into my crucial area. Anyway, so, okay, I went to BeautyCon yesterday and I'm not gonna talk about it too much in this video because I am gonna have a whole video up on it. But on my way to BeautyCon, I witnessed a suicide. It was a bird suicide. I was driving on the highway and I came up to one of those parts where a street crosses over the highway. So there's a little, you know, bridge overpass kind of area. I was driving about 75 miles per hour and a bird dive bombed into my right tire. 
and I heard the thud and literally my face for the next three minutes was just Because that bird, there was nothing I could do. I mean, I was going like 75 miles per hour. I was on a four lane highway. Like there was nothing I could do. And that bird just decided that it was time to die and literally dive bombed into my tire. It was a crow for anyone that cares what kind of bird it was. But yeah, he dive bombed into my freaking tire and it was traumatic. It was not the way I wanted to start my day going to BeautyCon, but that's just how it happened, I guess. So I turned back like right after it happened really quickly and all I saw was just like feathers fluttering behind me. I didn't even see the bird, but I mean, I hit that thing going 75 miles per hour. I highly doubt it survived. Okay, so then I'm gonna take the shade Liberatus, which is this really deep, cool, brown sort of shade and i'm going to use this luxie 227 blending brush and i'm just going to pack that onto the lid so yeah that was how i started my day yesterday but yeah so i got out of my car once i got to my destination where i was meeting my mom to go to beautycon and i looked at the front of my car because i was like oh my god please don't let there be like guts or anything like that all over my car like i will probably puke there wasn't any guts or anything which is pretty surprising because i mean you know, hitting it that hard, I guess. I don't, I don't know what happened to it, honestly. Like, I don't know what, I don't know what that looks like because I couldn't see where I, where exactly it hit. Like, I didn't see it hit. I heard it hit. And that was, uh, that was traumatic enough. I got out of my car to see if there was any guts or anything. And there wasn't, but I'll show you guys the picture because I took a picture of it. There was like slashes of like dirt, like white dirt looking stuff. And I think that that was dirt from the crow's wings. Like as it hit my car, it was just like whoosh. Like it went all family guy and like laid all flat and like with its, I don't, I don't know what happened, but that's what it looked like what happened. And I think that's the only time I've ever hit an animal. Any other time it's been a, like a squirrel running across and I was able to stop in time. That was my first suicide experience. But like, honestly, there was nothing I could have done. That bird had a death wish and I feel so bad for it because I wish that I could have swerved out of the way and not hit it. But it literally, it was like it was planning it. It really was like, it literally was like that bird was like, today's my day, I am done. I'm not doing anything else today. And it was just, it was the end. Now I'm gonna take the shade Sallius. It's the like lightest, almost white shade in here. And I'm just gonna put that onto my brow bone. Yeah, also on Friday night, before I went to BeautyCon, I went and I got my conch taken out. I couldn't deal with it anymore. It was so, so painful all the time. I was cleaning it twice a day, every single day, and it just was not healing. And my hair is just so heavy. It kept weighing it down all the time. By the way, guys, if there's anything that I don't mention, it will be in the description box below. I don't know why, but my right ear just has so many issues with piercings healing. I remember when I gauged my ears, I remember that my right ear was always the one that was just a little bit more like on the crusty side. It was always like really irritated and eventually it healed like, and I had the gauges for a couple years, but I just remember it always gave me the most trouble. And then I went to pierce my second, my second hole in there. And again, that one, I, I did them one at a time because I actually did them myself. Don't yell at me. And so I had done the other one previously. It was completely healed up. And so I went to pierce that one and I did it the exact same way that I pierced the other one, cleaned it the exact same way, literally treated it like, like nothing. I literally treated it exactly the same as I treated the other one. And it got like really swollen and it got like, it didn't get infected because none of my piercings have ever been infected. It just required a lot more care and maintenance. Like I had to buy way more cleaner than I did when I pierced this one. I don't know what it is about my right ear, but it's just like, you know what, Vienna? I don't want holes in me. I want you to just leave me alone. And I'm like, but I really, really want holes in you. <laughs> so I just, I'm at a very, awkward place where I really want to get more piercings 
but my right ear is just not having it. But yeah, so I just uh, couldn't, couldn't do it anymore. Could not do it anymore. So I don't know if I told you guys in any of my other get ready with me's that we're having a lot of trouble looking for an apartment because we basically need at least a two bedroom because we just have so much stuff. Like 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 this room, this room has so much stuff in it. When we were in our first apartment together, our one bedroom, it was just like, it was so cramped all the time. Sorry, I need like legit silence to do that to do my left side cat side because it literally never looks as good as the right. That's just gonna have to do. Basically, we're having trouble because we're trying to find something in our price range and then I go online and I read Google reviews and they're all talking about roaches and like no parking and those things are very important for me to not have in my life, um, especially the roaches. <sighs> I'm so over apartment living and there's nothing we can really do. It's been really stressful on me. Let me know if you guys have had like horror apartment stories because I seriously like, we haven't had like literally a reason to like break our lease. Like it's not been that bad, but it's been bad enough to where I'm just tired of dealing with it. I'm just tired of dealing with apartment complexes that just don't care about their residents. They don't care about anything. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Rock Tour today from Benefit. Honestly, like really getting tired, sick and tired of dealing with living in an apartment. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of some Hula bronzer just to warm up the face just a tad. I don't really usually contour like super crazy or anything, but sometimes I just like to add a little bit of color. I think I'm gonna use some Becca Moonstone to highlight today. Got this in a little, little set that came out around the holidays. We have some people in this apartment complex. One guy has a little crotch rocket and I don't know if that's him. That sounds more like a truck. No, it could be a crotch rocket. This guy has a crotch rocket. He literally drives it around the complex at like seven in the morning and then at like 11 p.m. at night, literally almost every single day. And it is just really rude. Did I do bottom mascara? Son of a freaking. Ah! I hate when that happens. I'm just gonna leave it for a minute so you guys are gonna have to deal because it's waterproof so I can't wipe it off. Oh, can't believe I got that on my dang nose. <sighs> Makeup probs. So while I wait for that little spot on my face to dry, I'm just gonna get my false lashes ready to use. I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispies, but I didn't, these are not my half ones. These are my full ones. I need to go get more soap today for my tattoo. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you guys about it. So it's been about a week and she is very, very peely at the moment. She's got a bad sunburn. <laughs> not really, she's not burned. Don't think that I got my tattoo sunburned a week into having it, please, because I would never do that. She's healing. Tattoos usually take around like two weeks to heal, so she's about halfway through her healing process. I am so glad that I took off work the first couple days after I got her though, because it was pretty hard to walk with saran wrap wrapped around your thigh. So, so yeah, I'm really glad that I took a couple days off of work. And the problem is when I'm going to get it colored in, I don't have any more vacation days. So I'm just gonna have to deal at that point. So I think now I can try and get that mascara off my face. Dang it, it's stuck. Okay, there we go. It was kind of stuck to the applicator. Oh my God. Today is not one of those days, you guys. It's not one of those days. Literally a gigantic piece of glue stuck on my lash applicator. How did that even happen? I think I need to clean this more often between applications because this is what's causing me the troubles. But I really like this thing. I think it's just dirty. I've just been noticing now that I'm really starting to look at false lashes because before I just was like, I'm never gonna wear those. But now that I'm really like kind of considering buying multiple pairs of false lashes, they are so expensive. Like, unless you get drugstore ones, they're like 
what? They're expensive. Like the velour lashes, like $25, $28. No, thank you. Let's not say never, cause you know how I do things. I say I'm not gonna do it and then I do it. Like wearing false lashes in general. So then I'm just gonna take a NYX Wonder Pencil in light and put that in my waterline. But yeah, so I think that is about it for my face. So this is uh, what I've got going on. Pretty simple, but I really like it because it looks like you put a lot of effort into it and you totally didn't put that much effort into it, you know what I mean? So now I'm gonna work on these bangs. So the rest of my hair is fine. It's it's whatever, it's doing its thing. It's got some curl to it. It's, it's doing, you know, what natural hair does, except for these little hair feathers that I just re-put in my hair the other day. So what I do with these, I think the gang's all here. Yep, got all of them, got all four of them. So I just take my straightener. And yes, these are heat friendly. I got them off of Etsy. Then that kind of melds in with the rest of my hair and it's not like straight when the rest of my hair is curly. So then what I do with my bangs is I take them in little sectiones and I curl once towards my face and then I take it and I curl it away from my face so that it gives it a nice little wave. Sometimes I get like these little rando wispies that are just a little bit too unruly so I just kind of like try and curl those down a little bit more. Yeah, and then they just kind of sort of blend in with the rest of my hair and it kind of looks like natural even though my bangs are naturally pretty straight compared to the rest of my hair at least. Yeah, so then once my hair kind of gets, um, it gets drier, I just kind of like ruffle these a little bit just so it doesn't look so extremely wet because it does look a little bit wet still and it still is, it still is kind of wet. So, I mean, it's gonna look wet because it is wet. And that's how I pretty much do my natural hair. So one of the other things I got from BeautyCon, the last thing I wanna talk about today is the Tardis Lip Paint. This one is actually TBT and I just really, really love the color of it and these smell like minty goodness. So I thought I would get one while I was at BeautyCon while they were a little bit discounted. So I got that one and I'm just gonna put that on my lips. Uh, I was expecting that to turn out a little bit more on the mauve side from what it looked like in here, but on me it kind of looks a little bit more red, which, I mean, I am mad at it. It's still pretty. Yeah, so here is the final look of everything all done. So that is the end of this installment of V Vibes and Vents. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to show some love to that like button. It's right down there. So I hope this was entertaining for you guys. And yeah, if you subscribe, you can be a member of my Mia's family. And every single one of you guys counts so, so, so much to me. I'm like just bordering 3,000 subscribers. And that's like, my nose itches. I'm sorry, I need to pause my excitement. Okay, I'm just bordering almost 3,000 subscribers, so I'm so, so excited that y'all are here. If you've never watched one of my videos, hey, I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. If there's anything that you wanna see specifically from me, please let me know in the description box down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.